For joining me now from our Abuja studio is lawyer Mike Mba. Good to have Mike Eba. Good to have you right now on the news at seven. So, what are the issues before the Supreme Court in the three appeals coming up for hearing on Tuesday? Thank you for having me. Um, the, the issues before the Supreme Court, uh, permit me to start with that of the PDP. Um, the, the, the PDP in a desperate bid to establish the fact that the appellant, Engineer Musa Wada, has called the majority of the lawful vote cast instead of um, His Excellency Governor uh, Yaya Bello, had, in other words, placed the entire burden of the appeal on the evidence of PW19. That's a forensic expert. That's one of the major issues uh, before the Supreme Court. Uh, the, the, the PDP is trying to urge the Supreme Court to ascribe evidential value to the evidence of PW19. Recall that at the tribunal, uh, the evidence of PW19 was regarded as a documentary hearsay. Uh, no much was ascribed. Uh, PW19 was also seen as someone who was in romance with uh, the petitioner. Who had, who had been with the petitioner in December last year, even before the 15th of January decision of the tribunal, uh, where the, its, its supposed responsibility was supposed to commence on the 15th of January. But you see, the, the evidence of PW19 was hinged on ground C of the, of the petition of the appellant. And ground C borders on corrupt practices. And you, would, you realize that ground B and C had been by the admission of counsel to, to PDP, Engineer Musawada, Grant B and C had been abandoned. The counsel stated this very vividly in paragraph 2.5 of the appellant brief before the Court of Appeal, where he admitted that Grant B and C had been abandoned. So it is strange formulating this kind of issue before the Supreme Court asking uh, evidential value be ascribed to the evidence of PW19. There are no pleadings. There are no pleadings upon which that evidence ought to stand. And it is elementary knowledge of law that evidence based on no pleadings goes to no issue. The same as pleadings that's not based on evidence will also go to no issue. So that's the major, that's the major joker to be introduced by uh, PDP, but I see that going nowhere because these issues have been abandoned and it is admitted by the um, appellant counsel. So why we know the, that both the, the, the PDP has also tribunal, attempted Yeah, we get that point now. Policy. Now, why we know that both the tribunal and the Court of Appeal have affirmed the declaration and return of the APC and Governor Yahaya Bello at the November 19th elections. Is there a possibility of a repeat what happened, of what happened at the Supreme Court in the case of Senator Hope Uzodima and uh, Anno Wright uh, Emeka? Between, against uh, Emeka Edioha, where the Supreme Court overturned the decision of both the Tribunal and the Court of Appeal and held that Senator Uzodima won the elections? You see, there are no similarities in these two cases. There are no similarities at all. But what is of common, in, if I may, for the purpose of argument, what is of common between them is the fact that Engineer Musawada is alleging to have won majority of lawful vote cast. Uh, Hope Uzodima's case you just mentioned also indicated same. But Hope Uzodima's case had a duplicate result. The onus was on the petitioner to prove that there were vote ascribed, vote ascribed to the petitioner that in the course of a uh, computation were omitted. So Hope Uzodima's case presented a duplicate result. That was what tilted the balance by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court looked at the duplicate result to say, even though it was alleged to be forged, no alternative was produced before the court. And the court had to treat that document as true and correct. Engineer Musa Wada's case, there is no such duplicate result. There is nothing before the Supreme Court besides mere allegations. The only document before the Supreme Court is the one put together by the forensic experts. And that's a private document. That document is, is literally photocopy of the results. And it is important to make this point. The order ascribing the responsibility on the forensic expert did not indicate that the forensic expert ought to recount the results. It so exceeded. The, the, the PW19 exceeded its responsibility. And so the tribunal discarded its, its, um, its report. The tribunal was right in discarding that report. 
The Court of Appeal was also right in upholding the decision of the tribunal. And so there's no such magic, there's no such hope All right, uh, so in what happened in Hope Zodima's case. There's no such repetition here right, because they are not similar, the evidence are not similar. Point taken there, Mike. But do you think perhaps INEC, the APC, and Governor Yahaya Bello have a good chance of defending the judgments of the tribunal and the Court of Appeal, do you think? I strongly, I strongly, I strongly feel so. Um, these are concurrent findings of facts by the tribunal, the same as the Court of Appeal. The Supreme Court has a trite practice not to disturb concurrent finding of facts. It has to, you, the appellant has to do more. I, I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. So um, we're eager to see what happens, uh, but I, I, I think the, the Supreme Court will be We'll be eager to dismiss these cases, right, we'll especially that of the PDP, uh, championed by Engineer Musawada. Afterwards, thank you very much, Mike Eba, for your insights on TVC News at 7.